gentlemen, I'm sitting next to lovely Miss Pat Priest, who you may know as Marilyn Munster. She took over after Beverly Owens left to get married. And I must admit, Miss Priest, I'm very nervous because when I was a little kid, I had a very huge crush on oh. Marilyn. <laughs> Well, thank so. you. I, I'm sorry I had to show up today and and spoil your little image of me when I was young and thin. And oh, you have not spoiled anything. But thank you. But uh, well, first of all, you got the part after Beverly Owen left. I did. And she did the first 13 episodes, mm -hmm. and um, it was interesting because I tested for it. And it was on a Wednesday, and I think they tested, there were five of us. And uh, they called me on Thursday to tell me I'd gotten the part. Friday I signed the contracts, and Monday I started working. Never saw, Beverly Owen was the girl I had replaced. Never saw Beverly, never met Beverly. To this day, if Beverly were to walk in here, I wouldn't know who she was. And oh. yet I'd love to meet her because we shared a common experience. Mm -hmm. So what was your relationship like with your co-stars, Fred and Yvonne? Wonderful. Uh, Grandpa was my mentor. Mm -hmm. And still, of course, he passed away, but I'm still very uh, much a friend of his wife's. Mm -hmm. And every day for lunch when we were filming, I always... I always went to the commissary with Fred and Al. Okay. And of course, we'd be sitting there at a table and people would, you know, I would get up and leave and they go, oh, how can you sit there and, and, and eat with, with those people and look at them the, the way they are? But you know, it just goes to show you, when you take, when you get to know somebody, it, it doesn't matter what they look like or what they represent or what color they are or, or anything else. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh, well, we were just sitting talking about our children and all. Mm -hmm. well, I noticed, too, that you were the only normal monster on the show. Oh, and yet, yes. The irony of that is I thought that with you being the only normal member, that actually added to the weirdness of the show and of the family. Well, you know, that was what I felt that was one of the perks mm -hmm. for me because I was only uh, in makeup a half an hour in the morning, so I came in later. And then when we finished filming at the end of the day, I could get in my car and drive home. It took them two hours, Uncle Herman, two hours to get in his makeup and about an hour and a half to get out of it before they could leave. So... Um, I like that part. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, you were in the uh, Elvis Presley film. I was. Come, yeah, Come Easy Go. Easy, easy Come Easy come, Go. Come Easy Go. I say story of my life. Yeah. Uh, that was a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Elvis was quiet, shy, religious, had his entire uh, entourage of guys. Mm -hmm. Um, never a problem with directors or anything. He was a lovely man. Of course, he always was, but when he got to Vegas, you know, his life kind of changed. Mm -hmm. Now, you're also in the cult horror film, The Incredible Two-Headed Transplant. <laughs> now, I have never heard of that until just last week, and it sounds like the type of movie that Sven Gulli would show. Oh. So, what can you tell us about uh, well, The Incredible Two-Headed Transplant? Um, I call it my Ed Wood picture. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't directed by Ed Wood, but it's of that genre. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was the only girl in the picture, and so everything happened to me. Okay. You know, the two-headed transplant is kidnapping me, and everything happened to me. Uh, I was, I played Bruce Dern's wife. We had Bruce Dern, Casey Kasem, uh, John Barrymore Jr. We had a wonderful cast, um, but it was, it was a low budget picture. I guess, you know, when people are starting out, they either, they, they have a, a low budget horror or some kind of film in their past. Mm -hmm. But it's funny, it's like cult now. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely interested in seeing that. And so what are your current endeavors? What have you been doing since you left TV? 
Well, I'm retired. I live in Idaho. Mm -hmm. And um, I do come out and do the memorabilia shows, and which is wonderful because, you know, when you're doing the show, you never know how the show or you are perceived until you go out and you meet the fans. And it's, it's just, sometimes it's just overwhelming mm -hmm. because it's, it's, we played at that time an important part in their lives and in their children and their family lives. When families watched the films together, which now, you know, not many families do that anymore. Mm -hmm. But, um, and it's just nice to hear the stories. Mm -hmm. All right. Ms. Priest, we very much thank you for your time. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Shane. Matt Priest, ladies and gentlemen.